Hey guys, I thought I'd give you guys some updates on shows that I have coming up, but I just realized these festivals that I'm playing, I can't really announce them yet, but um, I'll be posting them up on my Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, if you like these videos and stuff like that, like, let me know in the comments because that'll be really handy to know like uh, what you guys like watching or what you guys even want to see would be awesome. That way I sort of have a bit of a direction. But um, yeah, I'm just, uh, today I'm just working on uh, packing my van, getting it road ready for uh, touring and uh, hooking up some more power so I can uh, live on the road a bit easier. And um, yeah, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this very clearly, but it's one hell of a mess at the moment, but it's gonna be very nice and tidy before Blues Fest and uh, heading out there, so yeah. I've just hooked up like a second battery back here that I can charge off solar or off like power. Yeah, it's like super handy. <laughs> I've just been working on this for the last couple of days, getting this ready to go away. I do have a TV in the actual van, like right back. Ooh. Right back there. But I don't know how to hook it up. I was thinking of like maybe hooking up to the second battery so I can use that actual TV, but I don't know how the wiring would work with it being attached to the first battery. But if you guys know anything about that, that'd be handy. Let me know in the comments too. I've also been trying to get this or well, my stage set up road ready because I'm going to be on the road a little bit this year and I'm trying to figure out more lightweight ways to travel like uh, using this amp is so heavy but yeah I'm just trying to like minimize but not lose everything I'm using which is probably the hardest thing to do. I am just using two guitars now because the, I guess this is all I need. I used to take three but it just got too much. And I got given this thing, um, sort of like inherited this guitar. Yeah this thing is awesome. It, it's a Mexican Stratocaster which is like I guess people say the cheapest model but I absolutely love this thing. I think it's so fun to play and I also have my Maiden that I've been using for like every gig for the last five years now. And this thing's awesome. I use I use two little pickups in there, so I've got two inputs. But um, I always find it's harder to find a good acoustic than it is to find a good electric. I don't know why that is, but this is also sort of my view when I play, using a few little things down here. If you guys want to know more about that, let me know, because uh, I, I could fully nerd out about that, <laughs> all these pedals. I only recently started using this little snare drum down here, because I've been doing a lot of recordings with um, snare drums, and uh, I was like, should probably try and serve the song live as well, but it's, uh, it's like that little bit too much extra to carry, but also not enough to make you not want to take it to a gig, so... Yeah, it's sort of snuck its way into like playing now, so. And I've, uh, I've had this little kick drum for like, ah oh man, how long have I had this actually? A fair few years, I think since I've been a one man band I've had this kick drum. Um, and a little bit before that I had a like, little stomp box, but I got this off a friend for like 50 bucks and I have not parted with this thing. I've had to like fix it a fair few times. I've got my little recording area over here. And then uh, I've just got all my storage in here because all my cases and things like that. Some more guitars over there. I use this room for jamming a fair bit, just cause you can set up a whole kit in here as well and be really, really loud. I spend like 90% of my day in here just sort of tinkering and like writing, recording, building stuff. And lately I've just been working on, on my van and trying to get that. It's like my um, pedal setup and stuff like that. You change it every single week. You can be happy with it one day and the next day you're like, oh, but what if I did this? And you end up in this sort of spiral of changing and adjusting but could be like an ADHD thing that I don't know if I have it but it's probably most likely with the, the amount of tinkering I do around here but with all that um, I'm gonna be filming a bit of my trip to Blues Fest and my first time going down to Blues Fest and hanging out so I'm gonna make a little video about that if there's like things you guys want to see like if you care about guitars or writing music let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll make a whole video on it because uh, yeah I'm keen to keen to give this thing a go so yeah catch you guys next time if you like Make sure to subscribe and like and comment and all that and uh, see you guys next time.